In modern React, there are many ways to style the React application with CSS. In this lecture, we're going to learn how to style the React component in different ways. There are six different ways you can style your React application. Let's take a look at these different ways to style your React component. To style the React component, we have the first CSS in React. Using this way, we are going to use CSS in the React application. We are going to create .css file and style the React component. Second, we have SAS in React. Using this way, we're going to create SAS file in React application and use it to style React component. Third, we have CSS modules in React. Fourth, we have styled component. Fifth, we have CSS framework. And at the last, we have inline CSS. So let's start with the first one and understand how to style your React component with CSS. The most basic way is to just use vanilla CSS in React with CSS file. Next, to each component or to each set of component, you can have a file with a .css extension. You could have different CSS files for your different components. So let me show you how you can style your React component. Let me create a new folder inside this source. I'm going to create a new folder and name it styles. And inside this styles folder, I'm going to create a new file basket.js. Let me close this file. And inside this basket, I'm going to simply create my functional component. So here I'm going to say react functional component. So this will create a basket functional component here. So I'm going to just create a simple example. So let me just add here some code inside this component. So let me just add a few code here. So instead of taking here too much time to write a complete code here, I'm going to just copy and paste some code here. So I'm going to just create a simple state with two variables, is favorite and set favorite. I'm going to initialize is favorite with false value. Just after that, inside this JSX, I'm going to create a simple UL tag with a class name on order list. Inside it, I have a number. As you can notice, I'm iterating this number with map method. So this is a type of array. And inside that array, I have object. Using this item variable, I can access the object keys. So inside my object, I'm going to just add ID and name. Just out of that, you can notice here, inside this li tag, I'm going to first specify key to identify this li uniquely. And then I'm going to specify here class name. And I'm going to simply specify class name to this li tag. Just out of that, here I'm going to add a paragraph and inside this, I'm going to simply print name property. Just out of that, to this button, I'm going to first specify the data property name and specify type button. Just out of that, I'm going to specify class name button and then I'm going to add here on click event. So when I click on this button, I want to execute this on handle function. Inside this on handle click, I'm going to just print data name and I'm going to change the value of this state variable using this set favorite function and then i'm going to just print a simple item variable now this is just a simple example i'm using this example only for styling this component if you want me to explain this complete example in detail you can comment me below of this video but as you know this is a tutorial of a styling component so i'm going to just use this example to style this jsx once i have my component let me just add that inside this index.js i'm going to simply first specify styles and inside it i have basket copy this component and specify that here. So I'm going to just import this component inside my index file. And just out of that, I'm going to just back to the component. And as you can notice here, I have some external variables here. We have this number here. I haven't created this number variable inside this function. So how can I use it here? When I execute this program, I'm going to get an error message because I don't have this number variable inside this function. Let me just pass value to this variable from my parent component. So let me just pass here property like this. And then I need to pass here props. So now I can pass value to this number variable from parent component. But there is another way you can do the same thing. For example, let's say you don't want to use this property as a prefix to this variable. Then you can just simply use JavaScript destructuring feature. For example, let's say I want to get the number value from the parent. I can then simply specify here object and then say number. That's it. Now I can pass value to this number variable in my parent component. If I just back to the index.js, here I'm going to just simply create a variable, a constant variable just down here. And I'm going to just pass this number to this basket component. So I'm going to just simply say here numbers is equal to and in the curly braces, I'm going to simply pass this variable just like this. That's it. So now I have this value in my component using this variable. This is super easy, right? So using this technique, you don't have to add property to your functional component. Let me save this file, save this file as well. And when I execute my program, I'm going to have an error message. Use state is not defined. 
as you can see, I'm going to get this error message because I need to import this use state at the top. So let me just add here comma and say use state. When I execute my program, as you can see, I'm going to have my result, what I want. Let me open the inspect tool and click on the console. When I click on the like button, I'm going to have a message like by Nick and this will just return a complete object. And you can notice here the button changed to unlike. When you click on unlike to this John, you can see I'm going to have a message unlike by John and you will get an object as a response. As I said, you can comment me down if you want to learn more about this example. Now, let me just style this JSX of this component. So let me create a new file inside this style folder. I'm going to create a new file and name this file index.css. As you know, to style your HTML, you use .css file. Inside .css, I'm going to create a simple class. As you know, I have this unordered list class to this URL tag. I'm going to just create this class inside the CSS. So I'm going to say here dot unordered list. And here I'm going to simply say margin zero padding is going to be zero. List style type is none and width is going to be 70%. And as you can notice, you don't have any result here because you need to import this CSS file in your component. If you want to apply this style to your component, you need to first import the CSS file. So I'm going to just back to my basket component. And at the top here, I'm going to simply say import. So here in the single quote, I'm going to say dot forward slash index dot CSS. Let me save this file. When I reload it, as you can see, I'm going to have my styling to this JSX. Now just for that, let me just style this list item. Let me copy this class, specify that here, list item. And I'm going to just specify here display flags. Justify content is going to be space between. And padding is going to be 8 pixel to the top and bottom and 0 for the left and right. Let me save this file. As you can see, I'm going to have my styling to my JSX. So this is super easy, right? To style your JSX element using CSS. If you have the basic understanding of CSS, then it is super easy to style the React component. So you can notice this is the first way you can style your React component using CSS. We just use a simple CSS file to style the React component. Now, let me show you the second way you can use to style the React component using SAS. So, let's do the same thing with SAS file. So, let's take a look at the second method of styling your React component with SAS file. SAS is a preprocessor of CSS. When you use SAS in your React component, you need to first compile it and then use it. You don't have to manually compile the SAS file because React will do the heavy lifting for you. You just have to add a SAS file and just use it as a CSS. Let me show you how you can do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply create a new file inside this style. I'm going to create a new file and name this file button dot scss. As you know, to create a SAS file, we're going to specify extension scss. If you want to know more about SAS, I have a dedicated course on it. You can check out that course from the link provided in the description. Just for now, let's add here a styling for the button. As you know, I have this button in my JSX with a class name button. Let me style it. This time I'm using this button.scss file. So I'm going to say here button and inside it I'm going to just first specify cursor, pointer, then I'm going to specify border to it, one pixel, solid, and then just specify some hex value here, just like this. Just out of that I'm going to simply specify padding, eight pixel to the top, bottom, left, and right, and then specify minimum width is going to be 49 pixel. Just down here, I'm going to say background, transparent, and then just down here inside this curly braces, I can add hover effect on this button. Because I'm using SAS, I can add hover effect inside this curly braces. So just down here, I'm going to say ampersand colon hover. So this ampersand refers to the current object, means to this button. I'm going to create hover effect on this button. So when I hover on this button, I'm going to change the background and just specify here a simple background to this button so i'm going to specify here some hex value and then i'm going to simply specify here color black let me save this file back to my react component and let me use this style inside this react application so as you know if you want to use styling in your react component you need to first import that file name so here i'm going to say button dot scss make sure you specify here extension as well with the file name let me just save this file and try to execute it when I execute this program, I'm going to get an error message because as I said, React need a compiler to compile your SAS file into CSS so that React can use it. 
So let's help the React to compile this as file. I'm going to just back to my project and open a terminal. Let me just open a new terminal. And here, let me enter into my login system directory using cd command. And just for that, here I'm going to install node sas module inside this project. As you know, to install a new module in your project, you need to say npm install or i for install. And then you need to specify the module name, which is node sas. Just for that, I'm going to specify your hyphen s to install this module as a dev dependency. Let me press enter and install this module in the React application. It will just take a few seconds to install this module in the React. Now, once you've done that, let's close this terminal back to your development server and just restart it. So let me just stop it and restart the development server using npm start command. As you can see, I'm going to have the result what I want. This will just specify styling to this button. This is super easy, right? To style your React component with CSS and SAS. Next, I'm going to show you the method of styling JSX with CSS module.